Politico just reported that the Biden allied groups, including the Democratic National Committee, are planning to engage fact checkers. What does that mean? More aggressively and work with SMS carriers to, quote, dispel misinformation about vaccines that we send to each other over private social media and text messages. Wow. So let's get this one straight. On top of the education system indoctrinating our kids, our media pushing propaganda, our military going woke, the FBI encouraging us to rat on family members who display extremism signs, the NSA spying on and trying to take down conservative thought leaders like Tucker Carlson, big tech erasing any wrong thinkers from the public square, the rule of law being completely abandoned as hundreds of rioters and looters have their charges dropped, and the left trying to get rid of our legislative protective measures like the filibuster that are literally in place to prevent them from passing dangerous policy that could lead to irreversible damage in our country. We now have the government trying to monitor our private messages between us and our loved ones to make sure we aren't committing wrong think. This is further evidence that what started with shadow bannings and the elimination of conservative thinkers on social media is not just cancel culture, it was the start of full-on totalitarianism in America. The reporting, targeting, and elimination of any wrong think. Because thinking and words are violence, according to the left, right? And this behavior actually is not shocking. It's just the natural progression of what we've been seeing in this country as the radical left rises to power. Throughout history, leftist regimes use censorship, the monitoring of speech, and the shutdown and elimination of opposing thought and speech to suppress the truth and keep people closed off from reality. What's so different about what's going on today in America versus what we saw over the 20th century is that our technological world has enabled and empowered these tyrants to control us more than ever before. They used to have to grab physical books from our homes and burn them in the streets to prevent us from getting the information. Now these tyrannical private companies that align with the leftist government we have, they just have to stop selling the books on their platforms. They just have to remove the audiobook from the app. Mao Zedong, the communist dictator in China, used to force family members to rat each other out for daring to say in the privacy of their own home that they disagreed with the government. Mao's control during the Cultural Revolution in China led to families actually becoming eager to report their own family members because they were brainwashed into thinking that they were doing something righteous for the communist cause of China. But now in 2021, here we are in America, and our technology makes it so that family members don't even have to rat us out, even though the FBI wants us to. They don't have to because the government bureaucrats are already monitoring our conversations that we thought are private, and they can just report us themselves. What a strange, dangerous time we live in.